Episode two of the You Love a Podcast. Pretty excited about the guest that we have on. Um, let's get into it. As always, next to me, the man, the myth, the legend, JT. How are you? Paulie B, good, bros. I'm um, excited to be here. Got a special guest. Uh, he needs no introduction. Um, one of the best players uh, in the game at the moment, Richie Moanga. G'day, g'day. All night. All the lemon night, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, how you been, bros? Yeah, good, bros. Um, yeah, nice to be here. Uh, obviously, the border's open. So uh, nice to see the boys. Nice to see family. And, uh, you know, play on this side of the of the Tasman. Yeah, nice. Fresh off the fifth win, Rich. Must have been good celebration. Yeah, it's nice, bro. It's um, yeah. I guess you know you put so much effort and uh, work into something and a vision, and then uh, to you know achieve it in the style that we did. Uh, fifth in a row is pretty special. So you know, but on to the next. We're here in Brizzy, uh, trying to do a job. So that's uh, good. Yeah, mate. You didn't have um. Much time to, to take it all in, straight back into it. Um, how was the celebrations? Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was, um, yeah, as you said, it was quick, but, um, man, we just embraced it. Um, the boys didn't underestimate sort of what we achieved or uh, what we conquered. Um, it's pretty amazing, but, you know, we're on to the next job and, and we know how important uh, this, this competition is as well. That's um, a pretty good summarization. Like, talking to the boys – you guys are pretty quick to move on to the next assignment. Like, obviously, um, with the Reds, both, both champions. <laughs> I know you guys uh, just like to concentrate on performance. Um, be a big game this weekend. against. There's been a lot of media, a lot of hype about it. Um, and you're one that always talks about um, pressure being a privilege, and you always want to walk towards that. Um, has that always been um, the way for you, Rich, or is that something that's uh, kind of come with experience, experience, experience. <laughs> <laughs> over the years, and just something that you've kind of crafted? No, nah, like uh, I think it's important. Like we're, you know, we're human. Like to be honest, it was pretty tough to prepare for the new comp just after being on that high. But um, look, we've had a, a good week to prepare for this game, and boy, we know the threats that the the, the Reds pose and um, how much of a role they're on. Uh, regardless of their result last week, uh, boy, they're pretty on. So, um, yeah, for me, it's just about doing my job. You know, I've been privileged to be in this position and and play this role the last five years for the Crusaders. So, um, you know, yeah, pressure is a privilege, and you know, you always dream of being in those situations of trying to step up for the boys. But um, yeah, it's just about doing my role because you know we're in a team that you just focus on your own and and not not too much else. So, yeah. Right, and that's, so that's where we are now. Rich, if we rewind back to where it all started, um, we grew up, uh, born and bred, and kind of a bit of a little quick brief history of where it all started for you. Yeah, just quickly, um, I was born in Christchurch. Um, yeah, born and raised in Christchurch City and knew nothing else apart from Canterbury and the Crusaders, um, which is why I guess um, – I wear it pretty heavy on my on my sleeve, you know, and how I represent and how I play for this team. Um, but yeah, I was I was brought up in Christchurch, and there's not many Islanders there. So whenever, just gonna say, <laughs> boy, whenever the boys ask me, you know, where you from, and I say Christchurch, they're like, hey, they the brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> they're like brotherhood. They always expect me to say I came from Auckland or, or somewhere else, but um, <laughs> but uh, hey, hey. but um. Boy, it's just, um, yeah, I'm proud, proud Cantabrian. And, um, yeah, went to Rickerton High. I uh, got opportunities at, at St Andrews College. I uh, went and played club for Linwood. And um, first year out of school, saw my opportunity to, to play for Canterbury yep. um, at the age of 18. And it was just uh, all happened pretty, pretty fast. But, um, you know, fast forward to now, man, so many lessons learned and, um, my rugby journey is, you know, I still got a long way to go and a lot to offer to New Zealand rugby and Crusaders. So, um, you know, one thing I, I think I've enjoyed most are the relationships that I've built and made uh, through rugby and the opportunities it gives me. Um, 
as well as just winning. <laughs> boy, to be honest, boy, uh, <laughs> don't get make, sick of it. Boy, it makes a lot a lot of things easier. And, yeah. and I always say, success breeds success, and just privileged to be in a um, franchise that has history of success. Five from five is not a bad strike rate. <laughs> Because you've been there for the last five years, yeah? Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, six, my first year was in 16, yep. under Todd Blackadder. Yep. And we lost in the quarterfinals over in South Africa. And then, um, yeah, obviously new management, yep. a whole lot of new players. And um, and saying that um, you've had a lot to do, oh, Scott Robertson's had a lot to do with uh, your career. You had him um, coming through Canterbury. Um, what role has he played in your in your career, bro? Boy, Hardy, he's um. Was he a twenties coach as well? Twenties coach, yeah. and uh, he was yeah. As, as I said, th- two thousand thirteen, he was my Canterbury coach. Yeah, and um, so right through, except for one, one campaign, I had him. So except for that two thousand sixteen, yeah. he's been my coach, head so, coach since. So you don't know anything else, other boy. Than- so I don't know anything else, and, and um, boy, it's funny because we have like a, such a good relationship where you know he, he'll tell me straight, you know, <laughs> and there's times he's he's put me under the pump. Mm-hmm. He's told me um, things that, you know, weren't nice to hear, but um, we're at a stage now where we're back and forth and, and honesty and whatever's best for the team. And What's the uh, biggest spray he's ever given you? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> or which one? <laughs> gee, by the hood, what one? But, um, <laughs> gee, by the hood, he, um, he was watching me play 2014 for Linwood. Yeah. And um, so I just finished the year with Canterbury, coming up 20s year, and I uh, was playing for Linwood. And um, boy, like I was, uh, uh, and the other team was high school old boys. Uh, uh, Rob Thompson was playing for old boys, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bobby. Boy, and so old boys and Linwood old boys are just you know unreal club back yeah. then, and and they were they should have beaten us. We actually bet them that day. Boy, and I had like touches in that game where I sort of influenced the outcome, like you know, um, kicking goals. Um, setting up tries and we actually beat old boys boy and I was walking off the field by the hood happy as I saw a razor and he came over to me and there was one part in the game where um, off a scrum they hit Rob Thompson and he bumped me and scored just underneath the post yeah. and um, razor was like what was that by the hood <gasps> he's like, he like what was that I was like oh he's like if you miss any more tackles like that, you're not going to play for Canterbury again, brotherhood. Boy. And that was just Canterbury, not that, even Crusaders. That was, that was, yeah, and that was Canterbury. That was, and I was just playing club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Boy, and that was probably, you know, only one of the few things that did wrong that game, brotherhood. And he just and picked he, it out. And he picked it out and he said, you know, that's not good enough. And so that's how it started and that's the honesty he's given me because I feel like we have that relationship that he, it's more than a coach player where he yeah, actually yeah. cares. He wants me to do real well. And so that's where that came from. And I was like, hey, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, chill, calm down, eh? Hey. <laughs> what happened, bro? So you, you just didn't want to tackle Bobby. Howdy, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Well, I seen his quads. I was like, hey, that, come here. Bro. Right here, hey, bro. Another post. <laughs> so uh, is that why he puts you on the wing to defend now? <laughs> Howdy. Hey, Rich, mate, you going, uh, <laughs> so as you look here, boys, the defense plan, Rich, Rich, mate. <laughs> Rich boy, if they could sub, if they could sub off off and on, boy, that's what they'd be doing. <laughs> what are your basketball guys? Yeah. Hey, mate, this ain't touch. You can't def- you can't defend and attack as you please, mate. Ah, oh, true. Just don't touch, Richard. That's where um, you obviously had a passion, or still have a passion for for touch. And yeah, hardly, and you bro. still see a lot of it in your game too when you play. Um, mm. You know, to the state. Um, yeah, that's that's where I think a lot of the skills sort of, or oh, even before then, but touch was a sport that I mm. went to stack and I just thought was, you know, because I played a lot of one-touch with, you know, a lot of Fijians in the yeah. community, <clears throat> playing with uh, Dallasau, uh, Wunumbaka. Um, this was at our, in in Christchurch yeah. when they were all there and I grew up, you know, best friends, Fijians and yeah. um, going to a F- Fijian church and so I thought touch was one-touch, eh? <laughs> <laughs> So, boy, I was like, yeah, I don't know, play touch, you know, trying to score of everything. And, you know, and as you know, if you play Fijian touch, you know, um, 
you get touched, you're allowed to pass the ball after the yeah. touch, boy. <laughs> the Vesu <laughs> and that touch, man, boy. The amount of forward passes, <laughs> the amount of guys that go through the touch and then pass it. <laughs> nah, man. Um, but yeah, I, I got introduced to touch and, and super touch, and then I was sort of addicted to it, what it was about, uh, the positions, how the yards work, attack, defense. Um, and then, yeah, I'd say a lot of my skills came from there and probably mostly um, quick decision making, yep. thinking on your feet and, and vision, that stuff. That's Drummy played touch too? Yeah, Drummy played yeah. touch. Davey played touch. They had a real good uh, yeah. Nelson boys team. Uh, they they had Mitchell Hunt and yeah. um, I played mix. I, I was, our, our team was a mixed team, but... Um, Why did you play mix? Eight. <laughs> We um is that actually where you met Soph? That's your, where I met wife? Soph. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where I met Soph, and we were in the same team. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, the top team for Stack was a mixed team. It wasn't a boys or girls yeah, yeah, team. Okay. Um, our mixed team would have you know, and actually leading up to nationals, like we'd play boys team like St. Bede's yeah. boys high, and uh, and do well against those teams. But yeah, that, that's the best sport that you can actually just sub one for attack and then boy hard. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, howdy. And it's, uh, you know. But gee, some guy's subbing off in DA. <laughs> <laughs> howdy. Some, some apes. Boy. <laughs> and sometimes you play, man, and then you're on the tack for a while, and then uh, you drop the ball, mate, and then you see some of the guys look, <laughs> yeah, look to yeah. the subbing box. <laughs> hey, stay on, man. <laughs> mate. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's too good. Um, we spoke to the other guys about, um, and it must be pretty hard to think of some sort of failure <laughs> over the past um, part of your career. Is there anyone, it doesn't even have to be sport related, is there a kind of a failure that comes to mind that helped set you up for like future success, whether it be off, on on the field or off? Um, yeah, there heaps off the field, bro, like, you know, heaps of learnings. Um, one that, one that, uh, one that came with with footy, and I learned a lot. And, and a failure was not making the New Zealand secondary schools team. And, and for every kid that plays um, in the man boy comps, you know, for rugby at high school and first of thing, that's a one team they want to make. You know, that that secondary schools team. And um, yeah, I didn't make it. You know, and um, boy, I thought, man, boy, my career is over, man. See, <laughs> 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 by the hood, eh? I thought it was I was done with, but um. That was a time where I was like, man, worked so hard to try and make that team. Um, and it was hard because we were actually in a – our school's not a very big school. Yep, yep. And a lot of politics. And I thought, man, these guys only look at the bigger schools yep. or the schools that only get played on TV, uh, that get all the um, publicity and and all the camera time. Um, but for me, I was leaving school just like sort of a, a mad man on a mission to try and um, compete even more and, and – Push my case forward, so that would be one for me. And who who ended up making it instead of you? Do you, do you remember who the five eight was then? Well, there was um, uh, Bodin Waka. Oh and yeah, Otere Black. Oh, true. Yeah, so they were the two tens um, that made it in, ahead of me. And um, yeah, yeah, I was like, uh, boy, it was like a tough time. I re- I thought you know, I thought it was, I thought it was like the end of my career, but um, that was good, good learnings. Were they both in your twenties team? Nah, nah. Oh. So it's yeah, twenties teams. It was me and Simon Hickey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. um, and Damien was there in our twenties team too. But well, it just goes to show like how things change, you know, pretty quickly too. Eh? It changes quickly, and everyone has their journey and their story. Um, but for me, it just you know, it wasn't for me to make that. You know, it was a bigger lesson to learn and and bigger things to come for me. And off the back of that, Richard, is any um, do you have any kind of rituals or, or kind of routines that you always do on a daily, or any habits that you do daily or pregame? Um, no, I think one thing that I've learned over the years is um, I've been more relaxed the last couple of years and sort of um, just been more confident in my ability to do things and not superstitious or not. Um, Doing habits just because, um, you know, out of fear. But you know, the things with eating and, and and little extras and sleeping well and getting up early 
and doing gym and stuff like I love that stuff like I'm not the biggest man in, st- in stature but like I really enjoy the gym and working hard yeah I see you love um the powerlifting stuff eh yeah uh, they, yeah hardy. Man always, uh, hardy, yeah they, they don't call me lasher for, uh, for <laughs> nothing <laughs> <laughs> nah but um no, nah, nothing really <laughs> that um yeah I'm pretty relaxed so and um the mellowing out obviously new dad how recently uh, yeah, yeah. new dad does that um kind of help kind of a, a more relaxed rich yeah it is bros and um I think it's sort of just you know a new perspective as people say but I think it's a, like a a good change of pace like um previous to Billy like my life was pretty rugby orientated which was good because that's what I needed at that stage and for me to further my rugby and and what I need to focus on um but now it's just perfect like you know by the hood like I finished training boy I want to go home straight away <laughs> and it's also good to get your mind off rugby for a bit yeah hardy uh, yeah yeah more more to life than rugby and sometimes you can get caught in that trap because that's all you know like oh. that's all you're doing you know that's what that's what you get judged on yep. you're training your performances or for one what 80 minutes of of a week yeah. um you know and we've had haven't had um smooth all smooth sailing this year with losing games and uh in previous years boy i would have been mossy would have been crying or something like yeah. that but boy lost against the highlanders or true or eat, and then go home see billy and and you know it's all happy days so um that stuff in perspective and it um makes me do rugby the best I can when I'm at training. So then, then when I go home, I'm I'm fully at home. Yep, uh, makes makes perfect sense. And you hear a lot of guys speak about that when they have their first child or, or family. It's um, yeah. that's I think I read something life. on uh, Sunny Bill after the loss in the semi final on the World Cup. Uh, he was gutted, but at the end of the day, it was just a game, and he had his family to go to. So hardy, um, yeah. And it's hard, like you know, sometimes it's easy to you know when people say that, but you have supporters like hey. Yeah. Like that you should be punishing yourself yeah, for, yeah, you yeah. know like, like why aren't you why like, aren't you sad yeah. um, but it doesn't mean we don't try hard or he didn't try give his, yeah, his, his all but hey you know <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> hey. it's more to life than hardy yeah. <laughs> and just on the the culture that crusaders culture that's pretty synonymous and it's quite aligned with the the Anonymous man. What does that mean? So I said Sinati I was like, "That's pretty Sinati this." Hey, boy, this guy casting spells over here, boy. Thank God in Levioso, go. Yeah, just the two cultures, bro. So aligning, obviously, you speak a lot about it. <laughs> Gee, but what about the other part when he said um, summeration? <laughs> <laughs> How about I was hoping you didn't hear gee, that? Gee, Did I you was hear about that to laugh because yeah. he looked at me. <laughs> summeration of the man. I was to say summation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Oh, oh, boy. boy. Nah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I thought I said that in the last <laughs> podcast. That's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> oh, it does. Oh, gee, it was, was at the, the start. One? It was at the start. Oh, my uh, oh. Do your job. Hey, <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Um, I think you have a bit of an insight into, uh, I guess, that Crusaders culture that's become, you know, pretty famous <laughs> with um, with priding yourself on performance and preparation. Yeah, like I, I don't know, like it's hard because, boy, a lot of people talk about it, and like, um, I don't know, like I, I don't really like talking about it without because it's you kind of g up the. You know what people are saying, you know, about yeah. the culture and and like I don't know, it's hard to put into words that boy, we're just like a bunch of fellas that that love, you know, they love playing, love each other's company. I think uh-huh. that's one thing that stands out. Like even watching <laughs> you guys and your captains run, like it's like you're just watching blokes who are having fun. Hardy, uh, yeah. and it's like um, I don't know. I think it culture's like um, it's like what you do, you know. That's what sort of builds, you know, those little things. Um, uh, the vision that you have, but also the leaders. Like you can't go past the leaders that we've had the last five years. Mm. Obviously, Razor, but well, when you look at the names like Kieran Reed, Owen Franks, Ryan Crotty, Matt Todd, <laughs> Jordan Tough, well, like all those guys are, are, are centurions. Mm. And um, like you might not get that at other clubs, but um, and I said before too, like success breeds success. Like. Mm. When you win the first year, it's so hard to win the next year. But when you do, you can understand the formula. 
Yep. So mm. To get the next one, you know what it takes. And although boys come in, the likes of Ethan Blackheader, Cullen Grace, um, they've just been handed the jersey and given the freedom to like, you know, mm. go do your best, go mock all that guy over there. Mm. Like that's like that's 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 just that's it. And it's quite simple. But um yeah, I'm just like one that stands there and just like, boy, that's the shadows. <laughs> like by the hood, like you know, like that I get to run a best team. Best seat in the house. You know, best seat in the house that, that I can be calling this or that and know that boy, that guy's a shit. Yeah. It just it's it's good, bro. It's cool. And you speak about being relaxed, and I think when we watch games um, here, like there's there's a sense about the way you approach the game, mm. like like there's a real calmness, and no matter what the scoreboard or the or, or the um, or the time ticking away, you still sense that. No, I reckon this fellow reckons he'll get them across the line here, or you know he'll <laughs> do his part to get them across the line, and and is that that's obviously built up over. Over time and um, obviously previous performance and, and experience. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say like it's just with experience, eh? Like time in the saddle. Like um, when I first came in, like my first year Crusaders, like you wouldn't believe it, but the guys that were ahead of me, obviously Carter was here, Colin Slade, Tom Taylor, mm. Tyler Blindale, and I was a fifth ten. Wow. So all in 2015, those were the four that were ahead of me. And they were all first five, full back, second fives. Yep. And then 2016, all four of them left. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and 16, I started every game for Crusaders in that season. And, like, if you told me I would have done that in 15, well, I would have been like, yeah, bro. <laughs> but um, that's the experience that yeah. when people look at me now and they see the success, they only think of the last couple of years. Yeah. Boy, it's but that 16 up. year. Yep. Yeah, boy, that the lessons that that taught me, boy, we lost some tough games. We got pumped in some games too, and those are all just learnings. Um, and as for like the pressure stuff, like, boy, I'm just pretty lax, you know. Yeah, and and sometimes like I enjoy like having to go at the boys when when something needs to be said. But other than that, yeah, so all the other boys, well, on the field sometimes we're even just laxing and. Yeah. Me and Sev always having a personal joke. <laughs> Sometimes we almost get told off on that. Yeah. <laughs> and meetings too. So we just look at each other like, mm. <laughs> Nah, but it's, um, yeah, I can't do that stuff if I don't have fun, eh? Like, yeah. just like a lot of the other boys. Some boys are different, but for me, like, I get a lot of satisfaction about, you know, having a laugh and stuff like that. That's crazy. You go from five to one mm. in, a, in a space of a year. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And, but but you're right. Without that opportunity, going from five to one, maybe it doesn't accelerate the 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 um Boy, howdy. the performance. And what was the um? So apart from their sixteen, because I remember their sixteen year because we that's when we went down there to watch them play the oh, the, the Hurricanes. <laughs> and he's lost. That's what I was oh, when I was <laughs> hey, what, when I was saying about some tough yeah. losses. Yeah, that was that popped in my head because yeah, yeah. that was like. I don't know, like you look at the players we had, but shit as players. Yeah. But boy, it was like, you know, men against boys. Yeah, just you didn't know? get across the line. Just real tough lessons like that. But um, That's right. And Leon was, uh, he wasn't on the bench. Fuka, fuka. Yeah, and he got. <laughs> Remember? Oh, yeah. Hardy. And then <laughs> Andy Ellis got injured in warm up. Yeah. And then Drummy started. Yeah. And then Leon came at half time. Oh, yeah. He arrived at half time at the ground. And he got pulled over nice by the stuff. cops. Because <laughs> he was speeding to the game. <laughs> man, that's, uh, that's shocking, man. <laughs> um, and Nims got injured in that game. Yeah, hard because he couldn't charge. That's why he did his hemi. Charged. Hardy. <laughs> Biggest influences on your career? Uh, Mum, dad, um, my older brothers, basically my whole family. You know, we grew up in a Pretty strict Tongan uh, family Where we had to, You know Church Sunday um, Boy we weren't allowed to play We weren't allowed to like Have fun You know Real strict Boys in the boys room No boys in the girls yeah, room Yeah um, So that That taught me a lot And um, A lot of love and discipline In, in my house Um you know, and my wife, obviously, I've been with her since school, so the impact she's had on my life, you know, it's been huge. And obviously now with, with Billy, um, 
but yeah, I think a lot of things have influenced me to be who I am now. But mm. it's the most memorable game over the last however many years that you've been, you know, whether it's Test level or um, in, in that Crusaders or Canterbury jersey. Any, anyone come to mind? And I know they're all special, like mm. really hard to separate five championships. Hardy. I think um, the first one will always be special, eh? the one in Johannesburg. Because um, it was like I it's had an experience, one. you know. Like even going to the game, I still wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. You know, like the 50-odd thousand in the <laughs> yeah, stadium. Yeah. Boy, like, you know. <laughs> boy, when you run out, does it just hit you? Hardy, like you just think about it. It's like, boy, I'm just one body fella from <laughs> Upper Rickerton or something like that, you know. Like I'm just one little. Yeah. And then you're there and you're like, boy, that's the saddest. And we're under the pump too, like, um, you know. Could have easily gone the other way. Yeah. Boy, and they're singing there. Oh, yeah. Boy, well, like that, that would have been on, man. Like being able to experience all experience that. Experience eh? that. Um, but just the way it happened. Yeah. That was, that was the first, you know, first well, title. Was, they got a red card, eh? Hardy. Yeah. Boy. Quagga Smith. Quagga. Quagga. <laughs> oh, that's right for that tackle. Hardy. <laughs> um, do you remember your debut for both Crusaders, Canterbury, and. Yep. Yeah, Canterbury 2013 against uh, Manawatu at AMI and Crusaders in 16. Was Bobby playing for Manawatu? Nah, he was with Canterbury at that stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and Mitch Drummond made our debuts that game for Canterbury. And then Crusaders 2016 against the Chiefs at AMI Stadium as well. Um, we lost that game. And that's when, um, yeah, we, we lost that game. And for All Blacks, it was Dan and Dunedin against France. Oh yeah, Hardy. <laughs> just get up. Uh, yep, yep. One that one off the bench, off the bench, off the bench. Came on, had to like kick. A, we had a penalty, and I kicked a touch, and it was like five meters from the sideline. <laughs> Not out. Nah, it just went out, <laughs> and I got us like over the fifty. And you know when you when you kick it, and everyone's like. <gasps> Yeah. And oh, and then I was sprinting. Boys, come on, boys! <laughs> oh, you know when you're playing your point, and you're looking around. You're like, Sinekula, yeah. the man's heart Sinekula, was good. I was just about to get pulled back off. <laughs> Gee, I've never I would, seen yeah. a sub get subbed. Gee, honey. Gee if I would have got subbed, I would have had to make my nose bleed and say "Blippin." <laughs> Gee, honey. But, um, obviously, growing up in New Zealand, um, always dreamt of playing for the All Blacks and doing the haka. How was that doing that for the first time and singing the anthem? Boy, uh, it was special because um, uh, my brother-in-law, Owen Franks, he's in the in the yeah. All Blacks, yeah. and you know, I was beside him in the anthem and. Boy, and just doing the haka like as boy, as you do it as you're a kid, eh? Yeah, in front of the TV. Um, boy, and it's just like a an unreal feeling of like my <laughs> brotherhood. Like I can't explain it, but that's hey, my you. <laughs> See, and that's uh, like that's you know that super super um, hero feeling of yeah, my. Um, but yeah, but but. Funny story before I actually got to do the haka for the All Blacks, I faced the haka against oh, and the barbers. And the barbers. Yeah. And that was like an unreal feeling too. Like it yeah. was, you know, it was kind of weird. But Who was in your barbers uh, team uh, when you played the All Blacks? Boy, it was like some of the boys from home, like Drummy, oh, yep. Bridgie. That, was Davey in that one? Um, he was, he was playing for the All Blacks. Ma! He started He started for the All oh, Blacks yeah, at 15. Yeah. And uh, we had like Andy Ellis. Um, <laughs> well, like Quagga Smith, yeah, like boy, it's unreal. Like, how was the charge all week? Boy, but yeah, brotherhood. Like, you know, they say, you know, when you hear rumors about barbers, yeah, boy, it's pretty it's much that, eh? Like, it's <laughs> true. Did you like, were you like a bit charged when you played? Um, or you just slowed down? Not like charged, but like, but you just know you haven't had a good week, eh? Brotherhood, <laughs> just feel it, eh? <laughs> brotherhood, eh? Not even that parade on game day can, uh, can, <laughs> can do help. wonders, mate. <laughs> not even the. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the mindset is going to help you, mate, because, um, 
No, but that was that was cool. Uh, Dave, Davey reckon uh, there was rumors how players would like split their cash up in between like bags and. Hardy. <laughs> oh, you know, so it's true. Wait, Hardy, <laughs> Hardy, mate. So if you're in the uh, customs, uh... <laughs> I, I heard a story that Sophie was uh, <laughs> looking for your cash. And you didn't have it. <laughs> I had it, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Hardy, boy, like it's yeah, it's crack up how that works. Like you know, you rock up. Yeah. You're meeting players for the first time from different countries, and then you get told to go up because we stayed across Hyde Park in London, I shared a hotel, yeah, yeah. Hilton, yeah. right across Hyde Park. I uh, go to your room, and they say, "Oh yeah, go upstairs at the rooftop bar," and that's when everyone's assembling. You know, some boys had already been there, like depending on what flight you're on, yeah, for like five or six hours. But it was like you know, six o'clock meet up in the thing. Boy, and as you get up, boy, brother, it's just. A man kneel of a envelope and he just gives it gives it to you <laughs> as you walk in. Oh, as you walk in. Just gives you an envelope. Just gives you an envelope. Just full, Boy, of pounds. just full of pounds. Fifty, you know, fifty uh notes of fifty and then you're like, Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> you go to the room, boy, you're like ah. <laughs> jumping on your bed. Like, <laughs> Money my, made with a man. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, nah, but it's um <laughs> You know, that's one thing I was like, pretty lucky to do, you know, because some, some boys, oh. and, and what people forget is that it's a club that you're invited, invited to. to. Yeah. You, you can't just say I want to Yeah, you can't say you want, you know. Chances. So I was just like, yeah, I was lucky. I was your lucky because, um, yeah, just the years that happen um, and some All Blacks, you know, make yeah. the All Blacks and just never get to because yeah. it's yeah. like when are they going to have a break from the All Blacks, you know. So, yeah. And some of those good. relationships um, – you guys, all these connections you make with with guys from other countries that you never would have. Uh, otherwise, yeah. um, do you click with anyone? Boy, heaps of the Aussies, eh? Like, oh, um, yeah. you know, like Sam Carter. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Carter. So they, <laughs> Sam Carter. Uh, like you know, Quagga Smith. <laughs> yeah. Um, all set fellas. All set fellas. You know the Africans. Yeah. Um, boy, and that's like the reminder of like you know why you started playing I mean, in the first place. Yeah, that's yeah, you I know. Mean. And at what stage in your professional career can you like be that relaxed, have beers throughout the the whole week? Um, you still do that for Crusaders, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> midweek beers Boy, howdy. <laughs> to the drives. <laughs> nah, yeah, um, uh, that's why it was cool. Hey, eh? at the start you kind of standoffish. Yeah, like, hey, are you sure? And by the end of it, they're gonna have to tell you to stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your coach? Robbie Deans, eh? Boy. So Robbie Deans, and like even someone like him, where you're kind of intimidated by because of his history and his success. Yeah. Um, you know, they encourage that Boy. because it's their, you know, it's their yeah, it's duty like to, to, yeah. to carry to out the tradition. Carry on tradition. Yeah. Tradition. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's why it's like, you know, it's not for them to say, nah, boys. Yeah. This is a, you know. Like, who are you? Exactly. I'm you. I'm you. <laughs> 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 And by the end of it, you, me, him, <laughs> everybody <laughs> around here, man. I'm sick and tired of this. Gata, gata. <laughs> See, motherhood. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, That's man. a shout out. Did you guys win that game? No. Pub. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Boy, it was close. We lost by like 10 or, My. or like 10 or 12, but Boy. it was close. And the year before that, how about we played South Africa? Barbas. Um, Barbas. Yeah. Because I played the year before that in 16, we played Barbas and we drew with them like 32 all. And they had the, a week of charge a, and they had an on team. We played that game on Wembley. Oh, well, that's on Boy. stadium, eh? That was just amazing. Speaking of that, mate, what's the uh, what's your best stadium you played at? Um, or favorite? Well, the probably like. The most hist- one with history and the one that like I still like nah I didn't play there was Wembley yeah because you know? yeah. they had actually two NFL games on the same week <laughs> leading up to our game like that's how like the field was like yeah it was mean and they um so that one but one that I always love playing it is like Johannesburg just like the altitude and just kick from seventy <laughs> yeah boy bro you notice the difference do you notice yeah, actually, Adi, like even someone like me that like boy has distance bro but <laughs> they be kicked from like 65 boy hardy well, he does that at home <laughs> but like like it, yeah it, 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 there is a difference not just in the, when you kick the ball but boy 
the lungs. Can breathe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like you know, and that's why that's why I say that you know one of the more memorable titles was the first one because like yeah. it was hard as bro, and you see you know clips of when it happened, like guys, like real experienced guys were just off their feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, we were like struggling. Had the game been you know five minutes longer, longer we would have lost. Like that's just the reality of it. Like even though they had fourteen. Um, that's why I was like, you know, that's why it was probably the shittest. <laughs> well, it's, and rugby has that though, way like ability. Like if if you're good enough and you get into some pretty good teams, it takes you to some pretty unreal places around the world, eh? Hardy, no, it does. Like, and I think that's why, you know, you never take it for granted. You know, even coming here to Brizzy, like <clears throat> you just dream of that as a as a kid, and um, you know, it's just about not taking that for granted and. Yeah, like embracing it, you know. <clears throat> and I think my personality helps it. Like, boy, I just go everywhere and it's just pretty lax. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty on. Oh, well, a pretty talented musician as well, huh? Uh, like oh. to devil in a, in a bit of uh, piano, guitar, nah, anything else? By the hood, like I thought I was. I thought I was pretty on, oh, eh? And then um, the likes of like George Bell will come along. Boy, his voice, eh? Boy. <laughs> There's just... Crush your dream Brotherhood Like he's the one Where you get mossy And you look at G and you wanna slap his head G when he's playing the G nah but like I say that in jealousy Cause like he, yeah, He's you appreciate it He's yeah, yeah. Boy like he'll just be on the piano Just And he'll sing a song and, You know Just yeah. A couple minutes later He's playing it But on top of that Like he was in a barber shop oh, And his true. barber shop came Third When he was in school In New Zealand so he knows like the different, Boy, oh, yeah. you know, the different bass, um, baritone. Right, because his bass is orange, man. But like I, I grew up with Fijians, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I know that the Fijians I grew up, boy, they were ons too, you yeah, know. Yeah. And they were just body followers like, at school, <laughs> you know. Um, we we used to sing and stuff, but. Howdy, because you speak more Fijian than Tongan. Mm, howdy, <laughs> bros. Bros, you speak more Fijian than the Fijians, I know. Yeah. Howdy. <laughs> Especially the ones from Brizzy. They're oh, all how? fake, but yeah, they're all fake. <laughs> howdy. I don't even TV. ask him. What do they say? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know, bro. Uh, no, it's funny. Like, Because uh, I grew up with Fijians. Like, I, like, boy, I just love even Soph, like. Yeah. She knows half the Fijian songs on my playlist, like you know, just because it's at home all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Billy's the same. Why I just have it playing at home? Sassy, Hardy. <laughs> sassy, um, KKU, like oh, and, and like a lot of people message me on on social like Fijians, yeah, and they say, "Hey, all night," <laughs> and I'm all night, and I'm all night, <laughs> and it's uh gets to the point where like you know it's just funny now, but um. <laughs> You know, it's like I'm Fijian brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's at the point. You know, like last weekend's game after the game, Nduva Nduva messaged me. You know, and he was just saying, "Good game," and I said, "Naka night, <laughs> <laughs> brotherhood, <dude. laughs> Nitro, uh, Mister Nitro, <laughs> Mister Nitro." Early. <laughs> Couple more questions, and we'll wrap it up, boys. Um, we always ask people um, if there was a billboard about them, what would it say? Or, you know. Um boy. That's pretty uh that's pretty hardy. <laughs> I I'm not too sure, like I, I I don't know, but um I don't know. Like I sorta in my rugby um like with my rugby hat on, like I've always had this vision of like People admiring the way I play, regardless if they supported the team I play for or not. Just because of the style and the way I play, like that's how I want it to be, you know, for people to to enjoy that. Um, yeah, actually, I'm actually not answering the question, am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, eh? <hey. laughs> uh, is it all good if I cry? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> oh, so. nah, I don't know. I don't know, but um, yeah, I, I'm not too sure. I just, um, oh, yeah, I don't know. No, nah, that's that well. I guess what you're saying there is you're more about um, 
or a person of action and letting that be the source of inspiration for what you know people take away from that right like you play the way you play because or oh, the way you play is a reflection of who you are because you're not different off the mm. field you're, you're, you're the, you know, you're the same. You're, you're the joker on the field, and you're a bloody joker out off the field. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> so, that's, yeah. So I reckon that's pretty. Um, that'd be a pretty good billboard just to put a picture of you up there. I heard <laughs> you. Your jockey. Um. Oh, <laughs> that's a, that's good timing, bro. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Gee. Okay, you. So, wait, I'm taking the hat back, mate. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that's the uh, jockey um, ambassador. Yeah, it was just uh, like a yeah ambassador jockey model for for like their new stuff this year. Yeah, how did it uh, be an interesting uh, conversation to have, or not? You know, when it comes in via your agent or whatever. And, uh, yeah, just like an opportunity like that comes up, and you look at it and you kind of laugh, and then Nick Minter, you're vacuuming in your uh-huh. <laughs> Nick Minter, you <laughs> No, it's funny because you get asked to do that stuff, and you're like, oh yeah, no, that's all. Like that, that's 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 pretty sad. Like you look at it, boy, and then the time for it to be released, and you got to post on your thing. You're like, oh, <laughs> boy, by the hood, that's how it is. Eh? It's like you're like, oh man. <laughs> well, I remember boy. listening to Dan Carter say something about that too, like like similar kind yeah. of. <laughs> nah, because you know all the thing you got like you know, you know the the Vesu and all the boys that are coming at you, all your all your boys and all yeah, your friends. Yeah, you're not worried yeah, about yeah, anyone yeah. else, right? Nah, yeah. <laughs> but the amount of people that send the thing back to you and write all the stuff, like, uh, all your mates, and you're like, okay, then you don't even wear undies, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I was supposed to ask you to bring some. Uh, <laughs> so, so they mock you, then they ask you, uh, <laughs> they, whatever. They're like, hey. so, mate, they don't do uh, juice drinks, mate. So. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Bryson and your horse. Speaking of uh, different kind of, yeah, uh, Hardy, they've been going alright, eh? Yeah, it's been, um, yeah, he's been going good. Like he's been in huge races. He's only young, um, but he was in like the Doncaster Mile, which is like one of the biggest yeah, yeah, yeah. mile races in the world. Um, nah, nah, like still very young, but probably racing against like the best horses in the world. Hardy. Yeah. Um, you can't win everything, right? Mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hardy. It's like, oh, you better. <laughs> Big raps on him, though, eh? Like, in terms of, like, shows yep. real good potential for yep. what people have been. Yeah, well, Wonga was with this trainer in Sydney, um, Chris Waller, which yep. is, like, best trainer in the world, you know, had trained Winx, which yep. went, like, 35 yeah, consecutive. Uh, uh, yeah. Right so, so under that, and then w- switched trainers and went to Annabelle Nisham, who's in Sydney, too. But huge reps, yeah. And although like the big races lately haven't gone well, like he's still so young, oh, boy, and time. just like yeah, time will tell sort of how they how they manage him, and and I reckon it's been a good opportunity because the thing that I'm most excited about that is like ten percent of the winnings go back to Child Cancer yep. Foundation, yep. And and that was something that like was pretty special for me um, to have happen, you know. Mm. And that's what gives you sort of. Um, Purpose. Yeah, purpose in that, and you know when you're watching a race, you want it to do well because you know where the money can go. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. Well, that's that's all I had um, for my end. But just a couple of quick fire ones before we wrap up. Um, funniest teammate. Uh Sevu, <laughs> Sevalani, mother of the mother of the Yes. The smoothest with the with the ladies. Um. Ethan Blackheader. Boy, yeah, right. Davies, hey, Davies. Uh, Did Davey say that? Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he uh, wines and dines. Oh, he's, mate, he's, he's a, a smooth criminal, he's like mate. throwback to Hardy. The... Mate, you watch him play, it's complete, ah. complete opposite <laughs> to, how he, to how he operates off, you know, his yeah. jet, you know, very uh, suave. <laughs> and the pest. The pest, Sevu. The more than nothing. Nah, nah, your yeah. pronunciation, brotherhood, is better than nah, some of the Nah, <laughs> Sev, Sev, boy, he's my boy, boy. Brotherhood, he's like my shadow, G, yeah. brotherhood. Is it true that um, when you use room for the All Blacks, if you aren't roommates, he still sleeps with you anyway? Hardy, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Hardy. It's funny, like, uh, I'll be with my roomie, and um, G, brotherhood, this one time, I can't remember who I was rooming with, but it was at the stage where my roomie um, woke up. I wasn't even in my bed. Sevi was there. 
and that's how like boy that's how offered is that we just boy we sleep together um boy do everything do everything <laughs> like oh, Russ, uh, thanks for jumping on that episode two uh, obviously it's not every day you get a um five time champion on, on the podcast and be able to Tell a bit of your story, give people a bit of an insight into um, who you are. So appreciate that, mm. Steve. Going for six. Mm. Good luck on the weekend. Howdy. Thanks, be good. thanks for having us. Knock uh, brass. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Mus. All right. She's running all the time. Running right through my mind. She's always in my head.